Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, a to Z series in which we're playing as, of course, the True Cons. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or Mr. Con Lover. Um, but right now, unlike the end of last episode, we're ready to go to war with the Sisters of Steel. They have no divisions on the border. And go to war with their puppet, the Ruminators, basically their puppet, and we have exiles just like us. The Jacksons are a fiery clan, burn with spite, burning with spite, and thirst for revenge. While that makes them dangerous to neighbors, it also means that it's simple to negotiate with them. If we swear to aid them in returning their old homes to us, they will help us in return. So, let's see what happens. Maybe this will be a good idea. Maybe this won't be a good idea. Oh, wait. Did we go to war? Oh, Iron Alliance. Well, okay. Alright. So, uh, we can demand our rightful territories. Uh, let's focus on these guys first. So, we got about a few days, ten days. Access just like us. Uh, hopefully, this is not a bad idea. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the horsemen. Oh, I forgot to do that too. Crap. Hmm... Tribute to the call. Dead weight spells for casualty, and every cab ensures the well being of the Trucans. For the family, Essen explained, before harking orders that any position of little use be thrown to the pile to sell off to merchants and travelers. I hope these guys hold out long enough so that we can actually go in at the same time. Now that would be the most important thing we can do. Okay, everyone is killing Standing Rock. That is not good. That is really, actually, really bad for us. Because that opens up a giant border with us. Well, darn it. Well, maybe we had it right originally. We might have to wait to go to war with these guys. I think it'd probably be best to, with seeing how everything is uh, going on right now. Um, what can we do about this? I need you all to like go in as hard as you possibly can right now. I want you to go here and go in there. And take Yellowstone, that'd be great. Go in as much and as hard as you possibly can. Like, spread out, y'all. Go, uh, go, 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 go. Get in there. Because if we move up fast enough through here to get to Fairview, that would be for the best. Should we see the call? Montana's final page. Montana Chapter is an enigma to the outsiders. Uh, little is known about the recent arrival, much less of the purpose. But the important detail stands a horrible look, what could be used by the cons, a stockpile of dreams left to collect dust. Let's give them a wake up call. Oh, hello. Well, that's not good. Go, go, go faster. In, 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 in. And if this doesn't go well, well, it was a good attempt. You literally cannot stop right now. Got successor. Training. Come on, Sandy Rock, you gotta hang out. I want to go this direction. Dedicated equipment. More output, please. Sisters of Steel, come on, we're so close. My tennis found a page. Pretty horses. A book detailing the ancient history of the Empire long ago was found hidden away in a follower's cache. Essa was enraged that the key to their prosperity was buried away, but like all good lenders, or leaders, she'd redirect her anger to her weapons. Alright, so there's no one lender over here. I need you guys to be lender over here. This is where it really matters. Ah, another diverting divisions away. I might have to redo this. Oh, god dang it. This is so stupid. This is very stupid. <clears throat> and now that... Okay, so I'm going to redo this off screen because this is incredibly freaking stupid. 
Um, yeah, they should not have ended like this. So, uh, uh, new cons. Being a con isn't all about blood. There are hundreds of tough tribal folk that fit right in with our flock. All we need to do is lay out the welcome mat and before long they'll come knocking. And never another lost home. Our preparations are complete and our warbands stand better and equipped than ever. Never will foreign armies march onto our soul and butcher people. And who try to find themselves at the wrong end of a rifle, of course. Reign of the Id. We've done it, run of every jet huffing, mole rat clubbing, settler flaying, caravan melting, hobo robbing, raider, and this godforsaken state. Now all we need is someone to let loose against. Of course, it'd be nice if March was living hell far up the shady sands, but we got more important business. And like a knife in the ribs. Any army worth its salt is going to have those warriors who rise above the rest. They're the ones who can jab it in just the right spot and twist in the enemy's guts. We need to make sure those kinds of special soldiers get the best possible gear for inflicting maximum damage. Well, it actually turned out pretty pretty nice for us in the end, actually. It's the second time I did it, basically with the one off screen. Uh, we capitulated on them way faster than I thought we would. I didn't even have to get to Pearview. We just had to take out, like, Mosby, Melstone, Cartersville, Mile City, to the bank, and a place of honor, and that's pretty much all we had to do. Um, yeah, that, that was actually easier than I thought. But now we're at war with the Lord's Anointed. And we're about to push in. We're just flying on Diana. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, and I guess we just did Essen's Warpath. For a charge, Essen was known as one of the new con's greatest strengths. Whenever a door needed knocking, she tore it down. When a gun jammed, she broke it apart and assembled something new. This strength must be taught. Our leaders, nothing of their people, cannot re be or rely on themselves. The unbroken. When the sisters collapsed and Essen's authority affirmed, a scorned contingent of sisters under Paladin Ambercosa have pledged themselves to Essen, clearly hoping for a newfound purpose. So, inspired by Essen, a group of sisters of Steel Remnants, calling themselves the Unbroken, have mustered themselves to a cause. Two units will spawn within our lands. Also, Paladin Ambercosa becomes available as a unit leader. So, let's see what we can do here. They were attacking us a little bit here earlier, and that's why they've taken so many casualties already. Um, so we'll go with that, and then uh, conquer the stretch. The stretch is an odd region, despite having kept to themselves. The infighting echoes all across the land. Essen had tolerated for um, Amgalon's sympathy for the Ruminators, but the ruckus and messy aftermath show no sign of stopping, and now she wishes for silence. Sounds about right. Oh, hello. That'll be good if we get there so we can cut him off. There you go, that's pretty nice. A little bit of electrical extraction. Sure. If you all were to help out, that would be quite beneficial to us. And who's peace conferencing it? Ah, well, look at that. You know, Broken Sisters, a time did come when a woman presented herself to Essen, a sister steel, no less, disgraced by the lock of her kinsfolk and in need of a home. What was once a noble soul is now an empty ch chasm, driven by a quest for meaning. To her, Essen had be be become a cause worthy of her wayward hammer, and so she became to offer her might. So long as there are stars in the midnight, so too shall I carry your will as a torch, she said, as she knelt before the warrior queen, her voice hushed with respect. Though Essen knew a warrior soul was never to be underestimated, even she recognized the lull in the maiden's eyes. This sister continued to fight because she thought she had nothing to believe in, not because of a hunger for blood, still perhaps she could be useful. Her rage, though, lacks discipline. These are what? Ten combat with, literally just, meh, they're alright. I prefer special forces. Actually, I prefer the raiders, which I still screwed up on, so that's my fault. But I'm going to get rid of you because I do want the horses instead. The riders. Demo teams would be nice. Platoons. That's fine. As well for now. Let's finish these guys off first. And kind of go from there. There you go. Oh! Oh! Okay, so we finished that. Okay, so we can't do that one quite yet. A golden uh, glade? When I was a girl, I liked to lose myself in the golden glades. It was a marsh of yellow tan, tall yellow grass and brush. Parts of the ground sunken by craters of yore. Divided the field was a lonely tra railway track. In one direction, I pointed towards where I belonged, and in the other direction, where I wanted to be, said Essen. Agent Captain, not ideal. Oh, oh, oh. That's not the last two much longer. Nice. Just kill them off, please. Just kill them off. You can start going to the Vault of Eden, though. And there you go.
We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Advanced tools. We've been coring stuff along the way. Good war by whim. 25th of November, which would be fine. Bocatello would be nice. Oh, hello. Maiden of the Dawn. Under Essence leadership, the true cons of them are emboldened. The new stream of emotion and ambition in their lives have given each one something to fight for, something to cry for. Each day means something new to prove. The dawn has never been more eagerly awaited. Nice. I don't think we need that, but we'll do it anyways for now. Come on. And hopefully you get there. Very good. High Chapel, Seven's Gates, uh, you guys. I was hoping you'd be done with your war by now, but guess not. Ah, you finally beat these guys too, huh? It's quite a few days, but that's alright. Should be fine, should be fine. Good, de good, de good. Maiden of the Dawn, conquering the stretch. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, that's not good up here. But we'll see. Paradise is ours. Oh crap, we can't get anything from that. Darn it. So we're gonna. Oh, we want to go up further north to manor up territories. I don't know if we have enough divisions to hold these guys off here. Because this is now a lot of t territory we got to fight for. This is a lot of territory. We could probably sacrifice this side to really push in there, but... Depends how many divisions they got. Lance is failure. We need more infantry armor, but that'll come when we core more stuff. Scoring is not too bad right now, I think. Uh, how much do we need here? Oh. oh boy, that's a lot we need. We scored parts of, uh, oh come on. Dang it. Stuck in the fire of civilization? Well, I want them. Uh, our ancestors rode from Zandu to Kiev on mounts of flesh and blood while ride from Mariposa to New York on mounts of steel and oil. Divisions they actually have. They have almost nothing, so we should be fine here. Number wise, we have more. Way more. They just have a lot of territory, that's all. If you can't win every battle, that's okay. But what you do need to do is win and go around them. No, you go this way, you ding dong. They have mobility. That's all I got. There you go. Help them out. The fewer divisions they have, the better. I guess. Hell on two wheels. A thunder of motors ringing out of the plains once more, and its heralds worse than lightning. When the cons ride, others fall. Uh, which, you know, we can't do anything about that. Whatever. There you go. Even though I've completely ignored everything up here, too. Whatever. Go here. Go here. There you go. Go for it. Travel huts are nice. Sh sure. Suicide pills. Just give them place right now. They're gonna get shop here anyways. Happy February, February, everybody.
You guys are doing fine over here. Hello. They are probably going to need some help with that. So that education's good. Up the nine divisions left. Not bad. Soon be even less. Oh, do we have even more focuses after this one? Oh. Ah. Finally, that one. Rosebud is ours. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Keep going in. I think we'll be fine. Line of trees, fine. How about this side? Give as many advantages as possible. Beep, 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 beep. Just go. There you go. Nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. There you go. Now we've got a nice little stack here. Bruh, I need to stop justifying on people. That's it. I'm done justifying. We had manpower. Had. Important word. Why is that a capital up there? Uh, is that a core? Yeah, I guess it, I guess it is a core. I thought they'd be dead faster than this, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, these guys are dying anyways. Still, holy cow. Yeah, it's not worth it. There we go. There we go, guys. Conquer the stretch. Well, at least that's good. And I guess we do this one too. The weathering storm shop was like a warrior, like I, as I noted. A shame that we share too much in common. Sightings of standing rocks, warbands have increased in waves. As a like minded foe draws near with each conquest, wars without a question. And once the ash settles, the truest birthright will rise. Uh, the sun kissed marauders, after rows of victories, of spilt blood and spoils, Essen reflects. Her spirit continues to burn, and the true cons set their sights in the east and the west. Good. As they should. Piercing would be nice. Oh, well, so much for that. Dead horses, wow. Good job against dead horses. Brasky. Parting the way, the followers are severing their ties with us. Amgalan stood in Essence's tent, having pulled her aside to speak in private. His voice was even, but she could hear that was a struggle to do so as he continued. They are denouncing your warpath and actions will do more, no more to help you out. Uh, is that all? I'm glad was silent in response. Uh, as long as they stay in their posts and keep themselves running ragged, caring for every weakling with a slump, I don't care how much they whine and cry. The slump in Amglan's shoulders was clear. Even to her poor vision and the unspoken implications only made her more irritated. She finally, she asked, are you leaving too? He sighed and replied in a tone rich with sorrow. No, I'm here until the end. The cons are my people. I will never abandon them, even if I find myself disappointed in them. He turned to leave but hesitated at the flap. The same goes for you. Once he was gone, Essen sat on the dim tent alone with a scowl across her face. The followers were move wasn't really a surprise. She'd known that this would have come eventually, and yet it was still frustrating. She didn't linger long, however. Melissa and Azika were waiting in those war plans to discuss. The true cons had a long way to go, yep. Weaklings. The western approach. Took my land around, nasty folks of all sorts of all wa love walk, uh, lie up west. Ezekiel muttered, flicking his piece onto the map. What's your move? 
As an Nobs passed on, the answer was simple. I planned a knife in the heart of the Western Empire. Or Western region. From the Eastern Approach. Nothing but cults and ruins in simple folk up east. As you go see, I with a hop of a cigar. What's your thoughts on this, Haas? Passing jammed her knife in the center of the Eastern region on the map. We ride east, she murmured, eyes glazed. Aggressive here, aren't you? You're a life giver. You know what? We might use them these animals too. We'll see. Maybe we'll use them doggos. Oh, that's yard has done extremely well. Oh crap. Okay. So now y'all can just train. Um, I wanted to build temples and whatnot. But they're all busy doing this stuff. Rise of mind. Rats, huh? Western approach. Look at all the stuff we can do in Nebraska. Woo. A lot of road building. The favorite enclave. I'm glad I told me stories of the ghosts of California, of a dark page in history that refuses to return. Scouts and skirmishers that tell of a leftover fraction of this ghost rest up in the mountains. A siege against hellfire and snow sounds as fine as any. It's a messing. Clouds haven, huh? Ah. Nice. It's a little better. Good. I did want to start converting these guys over to riders and such. He's got another core, that's nice. It's not worth very much, but it's not, barely nothing. Bidding caches. All fire in their palms, and in fire and armored coffins burned in the snow. The mountains were coated in everlasting amber, and a thick haze burned to swallow. Uh, it spelled death to the weak and a new beginning for the cons. The sun is gone. Essen opened her eyes, but the darkness was still complete. She was blind. Her vision had rapidly been declining ever since the followers had stopped spending medication, and she wasn't too surprised. Still, she paused in her bed of furs and clothes in regard to the dark. There was nothing left to see within it, except for some dim shadows that she couldn't be sure were in her imagination. Straining to see something, anything, soon began to give her a headache, and she stopped. Aside, she could hear the sounds of her warriors rising to meet the day, training, eating, a little brawling. It was comforting. Through the tent flap, she could smell smoke, sweat, and alcohol in the wind, the normal smell of a true con war camp. She rose and reached for her axe, standing in its usual place, grasping the head and using its butt as a cane as she stepped outside. It's only the vaguest sense to her that she stepped into the daylight. Bitterness rested on her shoulders. She would need to inform her Jones that her vision was gone entirely. She told him to listen in private that it had been getting bad, but she wouldn't be able to pretend with others anymore. She wouldn't say a word to Amglan, though she, though she determined his pity would be poison. She would gaze on the sun no more, blind but unbowed. Even more experience gain and organization regain. Even with penalties, we still benefit. The hidden caches. The mountains were picked apart after the success of the Chukans' war. Some caches were found away in the snow or locked tight with profound security measures. Some time may be needed to crack each one open. Air takes no more. Recently, silos in the lens of the Chukans have been hit, tampered with even. For some time, the culprit has been a mystery, but a word of a cult that worships silos has painted a well-needed picture. The ruins of Vault 37, huh? Normalcy, huh? One hundred twenty-five days to peoples. There we go. We do that one. Oh, we could award dead horses. I kind of want to see what they do first.
Heretics, no more. Mm, we'll go with that one. There were many like you. Shame. Henry reminded me of Amgalan, a man who traveled here and there, acting as a force of compromise, that of which ultimately led to his failure. It was in that respect that I spared his life once Bismarck was reduced to a ruin. Though it disheartens me nonetheless to see the efforts of a tired man reduced to ash. Secret of the silo. It's been some time since we dismantled the church. These silos meant something, and out of disinterest we left them alone. I can't help but wonder now. It's been eating at me. Do these silos actually contain secrets? Ah, the rat horde's looking pretty thick. Holy cow. I guess he's pretty much taking out everybody around here. I guess so. The blood spilled across the lands is nourish the soil for something new to grow. Some of the last gallons of a lifetime. Addison has earned more scars than she can count, and as she looks up in the land she had wrangled in the name of the family, she welcomes plenty more. Oh, is this core lands up here too? Oh, we claim on it. Look at that. Shove everybody here on the line, go to war these guys, and then let's see. I'll see what happens up here. Oh, no, never mind. They won. The Great Horde? Well, it shouldn't be too long to do. They're doing book stream. They've done very well. It's quite interesting to see that. Minus up in the future, very good. Uh, normalcy. There was blood. Oh, hold on. On the wind again, though Essen could not discern the direction this time. She listened and stood, but there's nothing strange to, heal, to hear or feel. Um, she called out of the dark for Melissa, who would have been closer to hands in the days so his vision had failed entirely. What do you need, Essen? And Melissa's voice and footsteps came to her before she felt a, hat and a light on her shoulder. You smell that, the blood? What's happening down there? They stood out of the camp on the ridge where Essen's tent stood. Captain's labor below when warriors fought and sparring matches. Melissa could see nothing but nothing strange, and to the, her the air smelled normal as well. Pretty sure that's always how it smelled around camp. I don't see anything happening. Your army's preparing for the next battle, and everything's going good. Trust my eyes. Melissa punctured her reassurances by squeezing Essence's shoulder. The Conicons felt a bit better at the other woman's words for a moment. She wondered if it was actually possible the camp had always had this bloody stink. She shrugged it off, though, putting her hand on Melissa's and saying, uh, Right, this is normal. This is normal for now. Oh, come on, Iron Alliance. I hope you die faster than you can do anything. How many more days do we got? Eh, we got quite a few days, which sucks. To aircraft. Bit strange, but okay. Ouroboros. What a shame. I don't think uh, Iron Lance can really afford anything right now. So I'm not super concerned about it. Adaptation Doctrine. Recovery Rate. Resistance target. I 
Hello. Doing fire, huh? He's addicted to certain substances. And we lost because the rate system is. Hmm. It's okay. It's not great. Getting caches, secrets of the silo. And after that, we'll go to the rat horde. Because my god, this took me so long. Too bad we can get advanced uh, you know, planes. Or at least intermediate planes. That still would have been nice. Well, the NCR has done very, very well. The Republic of the Rugrand has done really well. I hate how they split this up. So you're living two different sides, which I think is really dumb. Kaiser's Legion lives on in uh, the 80s. Um, Northwestern Brotherhood has done very well. These guys are together. Interesting. They look later. Maybe we want these dogs. I don't know. Do they have dogs made? Not really. Go and have fun with it. Oh, you're actually losing them. Huh? Yeah, they're probably relatively strong, but those divisions that uh, can actually hold out against us, you know, they're not going to do so well. Look at that. That's quite a few guys. A thousand are dead already. Not bad, not bad. Hey, that's not bad, too. H&H &H tools. Well, we don't really need it right now, at this point. Core Omaha. That's nice. Sioux City. That's pretty expensive. Oh! Well, that was fast. Well, I like him, Speedy. There you go. Every little area pretty much covered. Honestly, we're gonna push really hard on this side because this is where most of the core should be. So, military march. Good. I hate overgrowth. Why? Okay, we repelled the raid. Interesting. Nice. Throw on the hounds. Screw it. We're gonna throw, make them all of this right now. Give them a little more time when you go to war by whenever. Nice. Nice. There we go. Probably not as good as we hope, but it's something. Hopefully, we can just move fast. Good. Oh yeah, these guys are speedy. I don't think we got the trade. No, we didn't get that done yet. Relatively speedy. Scooby, Scooby. I want you guys just focus on this side. Just take territory. 
poop on them. Concentrate your forces somewhere and go with it. Stay in New Vegas. Look at that. Yeah, they're back. But not really, but they are. Not really. Furlan. There you go. It's not bad. We're looking pretty good. Oh, we have another focus. Ah, the ruins of Vault 37. Now, Vault 37 and the particular overseer are a type of flow with a cons interface in the lifetime. What harm can bolts and lasers do that humans, humans haven't already? May the question be answered in our favor. Well, that's looking pretty darn awesome, though. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Uh, anything else we can do really that I wanted to do around here? Any coring? Uh, it's not really worth it. Just a lot of territory. We don't have enough infantry armor or anything like that for this stuff, but you know, whatever. Here, nope. We have to do this one next. And you make your way through here. 3,000, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000 is not bad. Cool. But I think I'll end it there. We've done really well. Two cons are pretty fun to play as, you know. If, but if you enjoyed the video and the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.